Most people do not live long, but instead they exist long. This is one of my favorite quotes by Seneca. And it's so true because you can look at this all around you. Most people never actually grow, but what they do is they live the same day for 10 years, for 15 years, going out on weekends and having a little bit of fun. And then Monday, Tuesday rolls around and they're back to work. They're back to doing the same thing. They're back to watching the same Netflix shows, the same routine, the same exact day times 100, times 1000, times 10 years, whatever the number may be. And there's nothing wrong with this. If someone has a good routine and they love it, again, I don't have any problem with that. However, I'm gonna share with you how I stay super motivated and avoid being like 99% of people. And also I've used the same hack to really progress very quickly in my business and constantly do things that I don't wanna do and trick my brain into being extremely productive and extremely motivated even when I don't feel like it. Seneca believes that it's not that we have a short time period to live, but it's that we waste most of it. The problem is that we are giving away our time to things that don't actually matter, that Netflix show. Maybe it's scrolling on social media. Maybe it's arguing with a partner. Maybe it's going to a job that you don't like, which is kind of insane. But if we treated our time like we treat money, we don't throw it away to anything and we actually value it. Seneca believes that we can live and do everything that we want to do in our lifespan. He says that most people on their deathbed, they lay there and they just wish they pray for more time. I wish I had time to do this or that, or pursue this hobby or travel to this country. But if you look at the course of their life, they never actually took any action towards pursuing that thing that they always wanted to do. When I was 19 years old, I had a job. Now I'm not gonna mention the name, but we had thousands and thousands of employees in this office and I was a security guard. And I was ironically the youngest security guard that they had. Everyone else was in their late 20s, early 30s, some people even in their 40s. Now in this job, I had eight hours a day to sit there and read books. I've mentioned this in the past, in previous videos. However, another thing I also had the opportunity of doing was having long conversations with these people, with my coworkers, because we sat in this room essentially and you can only read for so long. After about six hours, I got real tired of reading text. So we would have these conversations and we would start talking about life, about business, about a whole bunch of different stuff. I didn't have a business or anything at this point. I didn't even know what I wanted to do with my life. However, one thing that really stood out to me talking to these people is they all had grand dreams. They all had a goal. They all had some stuff that they wanted to achieve. And when I actually dove into the questions of, well, why aren't you pursuing that? Or why aren't you doing this? Or why don't you try doing that? They all didn't really have a good response or a good answer. They had these habits. They had these routines that they were so stuck in, there was no real excuse as to why they didn't pursue what they didn't pursue. Sometimes it was lack of education, or I don't know what to do, or I don't know the next steps, or that's a little dangerous, that's not safe. And these same people at this time, I thought were much older than they were. And when I looked at these people, my friends, my coworkers, there was something about them that seems like the life was taken out of their dreams, where it's this like distant, future place that they want to go to. And then when I actually learned about their routines and some of the stuff that they were doing on a day-to-day -day basis, it was not congruent with the goals that they told me about. They looked like they were in their maybe early 30s, mid 30s, and they acted like they were so much older than me. And they acted like they had all this stuff and everything that was stopping them. When in reality, they had plenty of time that they can dedicate towards reading a book or taking some kind of online course to get one step closer to where they want to get. And what I realized was they were living the same day, like I just mentioned, for the past 10 years. After they graduated college, they never actually gave their dreams any sort of chance. They never even tried. They got in this routine, they got in this job, and they every single day did what was comfortable. It was always something that they could do tomorrow, but today was never the right day. And you take this and you compound it over 10 years, 15 years, and it was a sad reality. Now, as a 19-year-old, I didn't know any better. This kind of scared me. This kind of frightened me because I'm thinking, is this going to be me? Is this the reality? Because I'm that guy. I have dreams right now. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to get better. 
But these guys here are telling me they had the same thing when they were my age. They're telling me they also had dreams and visions when they were 19 of stuff that they wanted to do, and yet here they were. It was a little bit insane. Now, I have nothing against my old coworkers. They were really nice. They treated me amazingly, but I always like to learn things from everyone that I meet, and something I learned from them is what not to do. And if you get stuck in this routine and if you always keep pushing it and you never push yourself, you never try to grow, you never try to evolve, you might fall into this trap where you feel so good, right? You're watching this Netflix show and you're catching up with this. And then you're with your friends. Oh, I'll just have a drink or I'll just have a martini. It'll be fine. I'll pursue that later. I'll be a little bit hungover, but you know what? Come Tuesday, I'm going to get motivated. And then what happens? Tuesday rolls around, Wednesday rolls around, Thursday Friday and you still haven't really taken action. You still haven't actually sat down and made a plan. You haven't actually done anything. You haven't read a book. You haven't progressed your life in the direction that you want to take it. And you take this and a long enough time scale, a year, two years later, you're in the exact same position as you are right now. And because most people never take the time to reflect back on their past year, on their past three months, right? Their past quarter, maybe their past week, maybe their past month, they never realize these cycles that they're in. And that's why now I like to track and I have a tracker on Notion. I've shared this in, in previous videos where I'm tracking every single month that goes by. I'm tracking every three months that goes by and I'm taking notes on stuff that I have done, stuff that I've accomplished, stuff that I've achieved and also stuff that I didn't achieve and I'm giving myself a rating on how much closer I am to my goals. Was this a good month? And another good question you can ask yourself is, this past week, this past month, if I did this times 10, times 12, years, months, whatever, will I get to where I wanna go? And this is a great question. If the answer is yes, then good, keep going. If the answer is no, then freaking change something. The time is now to take action on everything. I keep referencing Seneca and I'm getting all these quotes from one of my favorite books that I reread at least once or twice a year. It's called Seneca on the Shortness of Life. You can actually find the full audio book. It's like 50 minutes on YouTube completely for free. And another quote that I love is that we are not given a short life. It's that we make it short because we're so wasteful. We give it away. You give away your time to this, to that, to a bunch of different things that don't actually matter to you and to who you want to become. Life is long enough if you know how to use it. People live as if they are going to live forever. They're always pushing things off to tomorrow, to next week, to next month, or I'm too young, or I'm not in the right place. It's never the right time. But in reality, the right time is always today. The right time is always to get started ASAP. This is how you take action. This is how you progress. And something I've actually even done is that also inside of Notion, I've calculated someone that is my age, my height, my weight. And I've taken the average life expectancy of a person like this. Now, for me, I'm quite healthy. I like to eat well. So I like to think I'm gonna live slightly longer than, than the average. However, I've taken this number and I've set up a calculator, a time that counts down from this date. And this is something that I'm looking at every single day. On my daily planner, I have the stuff that I have to get done for the day. And also on that same page, I have this timer. So every single day, I'm seeing how many days, how many weeks, how many months, and how many years I have left until that date. Now, I know for a lot of people, this is morbid and this is not really something many people talk about and it's not really meant to, to scare you or to make you fearful. Of course, you can walk outside and get hit by a bus. I understand that. The point of this exercise is to give you that fuel, give you some motivation and show you that the days aren't numbered. We're not going to live forever and that's something Seneca really preaches. And for me, doing this simple exercise and having this number in front of me always drives me forward because I don't want to waste any days. You don't have unlimited time, right? You're in school for so long. By the time you graduate school, you're what, 18, 19, and then you're in college till 23, 24. I mean, you're, you're almost in your mid twenties and you haven't even really given your life a chance. You've always been doing something that others are telling you to do. And then you get to a point where you might have a house, you might have a mortgage, you might have kids, you might have actual risk that you need to take on and so you don't have that free will to go all in on yourself, right? To try a bunch of stuff 
that you wouldn't have tried before just because you want to. For example, traveling full time, right? I'm living in tons of different countries right now because that's something I've always wanted to do. And before you get a ton of debt and you buy a house and you buy this expensive car and you get a mortgage and all this stuff, you buy investment properties, all this stuff ties you down and that's great. And I think that's amazing. In the future, I'm going to invest in rental properties, real estate, that kind of stuff as well. Before, right now, give yourself time. Focus on your goals. Focus on your dreams. Do the things that you've always wanted to do because you can. And again, even if you do have those things, maybe you do have debt from school or you already bought a house, but there could always be more. Imagine if you had five kids on top of that. Imagine if you were married on top of that and you had three cars that you were looking after and your kid Jimmy has a soccer practice, right? You have more risk. And as you continue aging, you're only going to bring on more and more and more responsibilities. And that's fine and that's great, but that should show you and that should motivate you to get things done today because today is the youngest that you will ever be you have more energy than you will in 10 years most likely that's a that's a broad statement i don't know maybe if i guess if you're out of shape now and you get in shape then you'll have more energy but nonetheless the concept is to start getting to work today and to start working on all your dreams and instead of putting them off to a later date or in some foreseeable future distant path you get started today and then you figure it out as you go that's the other thing. These coworkers that I was with, they thought they needed to have everything figured out. Oh, I have to know this, or I have to learn how to file this LLC. I have to, I have to know how to do this, or I have to have this exact plan. Look, if you have more responsibilities, yes, you want to take a more structured and a more safe approach. Which, by the way, I'm very risk averse too. I, even though my background is parkour and jumping on buildings and that kind of stuff, I don't like taking risk. Okay, I was making money before I quit my job. I made sure what I had was freaking working. And maybe for you, that's the option that you want to take. So next time you're feeling lazy or feeling unmotivated, ask yourself, if I had to repeat this day for the next 10 years, would I be successful? Hopefully that motivates you.